Donald Trump has been elected as the next president of the United States. Now, overnight, more vote results came in from key swing states, including Wisconsin, which pushed Trump over the 270 electoral vote mark. KTVU's Andre Sr. in the studio with us now, tracking the latest from the presidential race. Andre, good morning. Dave, Pam, good morning to you both. It's a big change from 2020 when it took days before a winner could be named. This year, Donald Trump was projected as the winner less than 12 hours after polls closed on the East Coast. Here's a look now at uh, how each state voted while the election was expected to come down to six or seven swing states. Trump appears poised to win all of them, including the key states of Pennsylvania and Georgia. Now, at this point, Michigan, Nevada, Arizona and Alaska have not been called, but it will not make a difference anyway. In many of those states, Trump outperformed even his 2016 results. He is also leading by more than five million votes in the popular election. And if that holds, it would be the first time Republicans have won the popular vote in 20 years. In a late night speech at his campaign headquarters in Florida, Trump thanked his supporters for turning out across the country and promised to pursue his agenda, saying he had won an unprecedented and powerful mandate. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? It was a somber scene at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where Kamala Harris supporters gathered for her watch party. Harris did not speak last night. Instead, campaign court chair came out to address the crowd. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted, that every voice has spoken. So you won't hear from the vice president tonight, but you will hear from her tomorrow. She will be back here tomorrow. Some Harris surrogates have already started assigning a blame, with some arguing over the choice of Tim Walls as VP candidate, others pointing to criticism from Democrats on her stance on Gaza. Now, Trump will become only the second person to hold non-consecutive terms following Grover Cleveland back in the late 1800s. Harris is expected to speak later today. We're still waiting to hear details, and we'll let you know, Pam. All right. Thank you, Andre.